Today we're introducing you to four gases, which is carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide. We're gonna explain where do these gases come from, the harms it brings and how to avoid it. But before we gas you with the contents, please subscribe to Kingston's channel, Awesome Productions. First of all, we have our silent killer. This killer lurks in the air, floating everywhere. In our world, we call it carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide goes by with a chemical formula named CO and it is very toxic. How toxic? From the start of 2018 to February, more than a hundred Chinese people are killed by this CO already. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention around 400 Americans dies from carbon monoxide poisoning each year. We can see how toxic it is. Furthermore, half a percent of carbon monoxide in air is sufficient to kill a person within a short period. That looks very little. But don't worry, normally carbon monoxide takes up 0.000025% in air and compared to 78% air and 21% oxygen, 0.000025% is a very 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 small amount. Why is this poisonous substance in the air? Can we eliminate it? For the first question, carbon monoxide forms when there is not enough oxygen, forming incomplete combustion. Burning paper is also an incomplete combustion because there are remnants of ash, meaning it is not burnt completely so we call it incomplete combustion. Smoking cigarettes and burning charcoals are also types of incomplete combustion which produces carbon monoxide. As for eliminating carbon monoxide, unless you stop all activities like burning coals and driving cars, which is impossible, you can then decrease the carbon monoxide levels. But do you know that we always have carbon monoxide in our blood? The normal carbon monoxide level is 2.3% for adults, but for smokers, the carbon monoxide level is much higher and heavy smoking causes a high concentration of carbon monoxide in our blood and then will cause death. This is called carbon monoxide poisoning. But why will high levels of carbon monoxide in our blood cause death? Good question. It's because carbon monoxide reduces oxygen carrying capacity of blood. The CO binds to hemoglobin over 200 times more easily than oxygen does, so because the space is occupied with CO oxygen will not be able to find space to get into the hemoglobin. Just in case you want to know whether you have carbon monoxide poisoning, the first thing is to check are you dead. If you're not dead then check for these symptoms, headache, dizziness irritability, confusion or memory loss, disorientation, nausea and vomiting, abnormal reflexes, difficulty in coordinating, difficulty in breathing, chest pain, convulsions or seizures, coma, loss of balance or vision problems. If you do have the symptoms then congratulations you won a trip to the doctor. Relax, I know carbon monoxide poisoning looks dangerous but it's very easy to avoid it. Make sure all rooms are ventilated and don't try and barbecue indoors with all doors and window closed. Unless you want to die, that is. But don't be too relaxed. Carbon monoxide is colorless, odorless, tasteless so if someone wants to kill you, they will put some carbon monoxide in your house and then you will die. For the second one, it is a name of SO2. It is sulfur di 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 dioxide. S so sulfur dioxide, by its name, comes from burning sulfur. Feel free to go visit a volcano and try and smell the gases within. It contains sulfur that is a very pungent smell. But it doesn't mean all sulfur dioxide comes from the volcano, but instead, we have sulfur in our fuels. When we burn fuels containing sulfur, well get sulfur dioxide. S plus O2 turns to SO2. So, what is so bad about sulfur dioxide? Sulfur dioxide reduces visibility, irritates our eyes and noses or harms our respiratory system and cause lung diseases. Other than that, sulfur dioxide creates acid rain by reacting with water to form sulfurous acid. SO2 plus H2O turns to H2SO3. Furthermore this acid rain harms our environment, including corrode rocks, making the soil acidic, which no plants can grow on, and even hurting our body. Also, acid rain has damaged 95,000 lakes in North America already. So, how do we reduce the amount of sulfur dioxide? 
Very simple. Use fuel with low sulfur content or you can install scrubbers to remove sulfur dioxide. Details will be taught in CH19 page 17. Actually, I'm going to explain the theory behind scrubbers. Waste gases are sprayed with lime water to form harmless calcium sulfite. So 2 plus SO2 turns to CASO 3 plus H2O. Thus the sulfur dioxide problem is solved. Moving on, we have our two brothers, namely nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen monoxide can be called as nitric oxide but nitrogen dioxide isn't called nitric dioxide. You can call nitrogen monoxide as NO and the dioxide version as NO2. They are produced when fuels are burning in high temperature, where nitrogen combusts with oxygen. N2 plus O2 turns to 2 NO. 2 NO plus O2 turns to 2 NO2. So, how bad is nitrogen monoxide? It reacts with water and oxygen to form nitrous acid. 4 NO plus 2 H2O plus O2 turns to 4 HNO2. And the impact will be explained later. When it comes to nitrogen dioxide, things become more complicated. Nitrogen dioxide harms both our health and the environment. Elevated levels of nitrogen dioxide can cause damage to the human respiratory tract and then makes a person more vulnerable to respiratory infections and asthma. Long-term exposure to high levels of nitrogen dioxide can cause chronic lung disease. It may also affect the senses, for example, by reducing a person's ability to smell an odor. Also, to the environment, it reacts with water to form nitric acid and nitrous acid. 2NO2 plus H2O turns to HNO3 plus HNO2. These acids are acidic, they are corrosive, which harms our skin, rocks, and even metals as nitric acid is a strong acid. Set aside the acid things, in the UK, a document published in 2015 by the government as part of a plan to reduce NOx concentrations estimated that the gases kill up to 23,500 UK citizens prematurely each year. This is a very large number. But to solve the problems brought by nitrogen oxides, the following countermeasures can solve the problem. Install catalytic converters made from platinum or rhodium in motor vehicles 2GO plus 2NO turns to 2GO2 plus N2. This will turn the poisonous gases into harmless gases. Very easy. But if you see a bunch of brown gases floating in the air, don't go up and sniff it since there might be a chance that it is nitrogen dioxide since it is a brown acidic gas with irritating smell. One more thing, nitric oxide is also a natural gas produced in the body. It acts as an important signaling molecule, expands blood vessels and increasing blood flow and nutrients delivery to muscle cells. Some people even take nitric oxide for bodybuilding since it can help you build muscles more effectively than some other supplements. But remember, the nitrogen oxides produced by cars or factories are poisonous, so don't try and suck in the gases. This is all of our information and thus marks the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to Awesome Productions.